Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today I'm doing a iPad Mini camera test. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, so now let's speak a bit about the camera. So, on the front FaceTime camera, we have a 1.2 megapixel lens for capturing pictures, but it also does 720p HD video. Um, it has face detection and backside illumination. Um, now the back facing camera is much better, it's an EyeSight 5 megapixel camera, though I would like to point out it has no flash. Though it does have autofocus, face detection, back side illumination, a 5 element lens, a hybrid IR filter and an f2.4 aperture. Now let's speak a bit about the video capabilities, so it has tap to focus in video. It has video stabilization and it also has backside illumination. Um, so if you're filming with the back, the back facing camera, then that's actually full 1080p HD video. I would also just like to point out that the iPad Mini cameras um, do not have as many features as the iPhone 5 cameras. For instance. They, they don't have um, panorama or anything like that. The only real features they have is tap to focus, zoom, and possibly image stabilization. Okay, so all of the pictures and video and also sound in this, um, this little test is taken using the iPad mini cameras. And it's also edited using the iMovies app that you can see on screen. Okay, so now I'm going to head downstairs and get into the main test. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is head out into my garden, which you can see out there, still a bit of snow, and I'll just take some videos and pictures just to give you a little example. Using both front and back facing camera, I'll put a little bit down at the bottom of the screen saying which camera I'm using. Okay guys, so I think that overall, considering that the iPad mini is a tablet and not a dedicated camera, it has pretty good capabilities. I mean, full HD video on the back camera and 720p on just the FaceTime, which is what you're seeing me on at the moment. Um, okay, you can see grain in these pictures and the autofocus isn't the best and pictures look pretty terrible. Once you, um, if you're even at half zoom, never mind full zoom, but for close ups, videoing, stuff like that, I think it's actually a pretty good camera and it's better than a lot of the low end point and shoot cameras that I've come across. So I think overall, this isn't a feature that would make you want to buy the iPad Mini by itself, but it certainly is a good thing to have. Um, Overall, I think the iPad Mini camera performed well. Um, I I don't find that much use for it, though I might use it for vlogging if I decide to do that. So, overall, I'm I'm gonna give it possibly seven out of ten, which I would say is pretty good. So, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Also head over to Facebook and Twitter, my names are on screen and I'll also put links down in the description. If you've got any questions you would like to ask, please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen. Thanks for watching, see you.